Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. If you've been following my channel recently, you will know that I've done quite a bit of coverage on the return of Hero Quest. Hasbro are running a crowdfunding campaign at the moment to bring back the classic game. And I wanted to do one more video on it because the crowdfunding campaign is in its final days. I'm recording this on the 5th of November and on the HasLab crowdfunding page the campaign is listed at ending in just over one day and 19 hours. However, for people who want to back in the UK they have to back through a website called Zavi and I'm going to include all the links in the video description below for anyone who wants to check this out. And Zavi have listed that funding is going to end in just over 14 hours and 30 minutes. So for UK backers, this is the last day. This is the last chance to get involved. So really, this is just a video to let people know about that. For anybody who has missed my personal stance on this, on the whole, I like what Hasbro have done. There are certain miniatures I don't like. There are certain stretch goals I don't like. Um, but on the whole, I think it looks pretty good. And I am delighted that HeroQuest is coming back and people will have an opportunity to get this game. However, for me personally, too much of my love of Hero Quest is wrapped in nostalgia, so I'm not backing this personally. I am currently restoring an old copy of Hero Quest, and you can check out all of my restoration videos on the channel here. But I do think it's a good thing that Hasbro are making this, and it does look good, and I think it is a good way to get a copy of the game without having to pay massively inflated prices on eBay and then have to deal with things like restoration and stripping paint off of miniatures and that sort of thing. So this is not an endorsement of the crowdfunding campaign. This is not a uh, call to arms to all rush out and back it. I'm not backing it myself, so I'm certainly not going to tell you to go out and back it. This is for information purposes only. And in light of that, there's a few other things um, to mention. They are closing in on 3.2 million, which means they are getting close to unlocking another stretch goal. They did a Q&A session yesterday, and they did imply in that Q&A session that Anything that isn't unlocked in the campaign won't be unlocked in the campaign. You're not suddenly going to get a message saying, oh, we've decided to unlock all of the stretch goals we showed off. Uh, that doesn't mean that the Dragon expansion, the Joe Manganello expansion won't be coming down the line. But if they don't reach that 4 million, which certainly doesn't look likely at the moment, don't expect that in this particular campaign. The other thing that came up in the Q&A is they actually answered one of my questions. I had contacted them and asked specifically if the painted promotional dwarf figure that I received, which I showed off in a previous video, uh, was representative of the materials that they would be using for the actual final production run. And they actually showed off an unpainted dwarf miniature in the Q&A video, and it has the same level of flex. So you are looking at the slightly softer rubbery plastic for these miniatures. Although they're not really floppy, they, they do hold their shape well. But if you watched my video and saw the uh, pre-painted dwarf that I showed off, that's sort of the quality that you can be expecting for the final production. Although, of course, that promotional figure was painted by someone and the final game is going to be unpainted. But the miniatures will be cast in coloured plastic as they were in the original. As I mentioned, I'm going to put links in the video description for anybody who wants to check this out, look into it a bit more, but just keep in mind that, particularly for people in the UK, um, time is running out to make your final decision on whether or not you would like to back this campaign. For me, I'm going back to my desk to continue stripping paint off of old miniatures and trying to fix old cardboard furniture. And that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you've really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I will see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.